Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Sunday. Today I have the samples to share with you guys from last week's Sample Sunday series. There are quite a few things that I actually really did enjoy, but there were a couple things that I'm like, eh, not sure that I'll actually spend the money to purchase the full size on. So let's get started. All of my products are right here in this little cup. The first product is the Hello. This is the Pure Mint. It's supposed to be an extra whitening, whitens your teeth, prevents cavities, strengthens your enamel, freshens your breath. It has no peroxide, no artificial sweeteners, no preservatives, and it's a no-brainer. And it says it's never tested on animals. So here's what the actual packaging looks like to it. Honestly, I don't know if I love this flavor of it. I like the one that I have tried recently. It's the charcoal one. I like the charcoal better than this one. The flavor to this one was just not as good for me. I don't know if it's just me or if it's something wrong with the product, but I just didn't enjoy this one. So for me, I probably wouldn't purchase this one, but I do love the charcoal one. The charcoal one that I've tried recently is so good. I do notice a difference with my teeth getting whiter. Do you guys feel like my teeth are whiter than they used to be? I think it's the charcoal toothpaste that I'm using from Hello. I think it's really, really good. The next thing is the unwashed bio cleansing conditioner. This is supposed to replace your shampoo. It locks in natural oils and color, free of harsh sulfates and parabens. It's moisturizing and non-strip cleanser. This is actually really good. They recently had this on sale at Ulta and I thought about getting a bottle, but honestly, I have so much hair care and stuff to get through that I was like, nah, I don't really need any right now, but it was really good in my hair. I like a cleansing conditioner because it's not like a typical shampoo where it's going to strip your hair. It's more or less a conditioner. So if you don't really want to wash your hair, which is a trick that I do sometimes, I don't want to strip my hair of everything. So sometimes I will just wash my hair with conditioner. That's basically what this is. It doesn't have a whole lot of suds to it, so it's basically a conditioner. But it smells okay. It's not like my favorite scent. But I found when I used this, my hair looked very nice and straight. And like straight by, I mean, when I say straight, I mean as in silky and like smooth. Not like as in straight as a board or anything like that. Because I do have some natural wave to it. But even with the natural wave, I feel like my hair was very silky and smooth looking. It didn't look make my hair look dry or frizzy. So I really did enjoy this. And like I said, I almost purchased it during the Ulta sale they had recently. And I was like, man, should I get it? Should I not? Should I get it? Kind of debated if I should or not. And I decided not to just because I have so many hair care products that I need to kind of get through. Trying to get my collection down some from everything. Not just samples, but everything I have in my room. The next thing is a sample I didn't try, so I put a little bit, I can't say I didn't try. I put a little bit in my hand and I was like, I don't think so. This stuff is just really, really weird. Like, look at this stuff. It's like a, it's like a bowl full, a bowl full of jelly. I just let it go down the side. It's like a bowl full of jelly. It reminds me of like Santa Claus or something. Honestly, it wasn't even like the, the consistency of it. Well, it is the consistency. It grosses me out. I'll be honest with you. It looks like a pot full of snot. And I'm like, I can't, I can't, I can't put that in my hair. It's, it's gross. I can't do it. It's just, I'm one of those, I don't like boogers and stuff like that. So it just reminds me of a pot full of snot. So no, I'm not trying that out. I do apologize, but I didn't try it. It just, it's, no. The next thing is the Ulta Beauty Clover Blossom Moisturizing Body Lotion, and this is supposed to have shea, oil, shea butter, aloe, vitamins A, B5, and C and E. This is actually really good. It smells very, very nice. It's got a nice light fragrance to it. It reminds me a lot of like the philosophy scents where they're not so overpowering or anything like that versus like the Victoria's Secret or like the Bath and Body Works. They have a lot more perfumes in them. This one doesn't have a whole lot of perfume in it. So I feel like it was better for your skin because all that perfume is technically not that great for your skin. So I thought this was really good. It's not uber moisturizing though, in my opinion. I feel like it's more along the lines of like philosophy where I feel like philosophy is very light, light scented and it's got a... A moisture <clears throat> it would definitely moisturize your skin but it's not going to moisturize your skin in a way that you're gonna feel like you have cured your dryness or anything like that so it's it's gonna leave you still feeling kind of dry for me it's more or less just a product to put on to make your skin smell lightly soft and really good and, and lightly scented is what I meant not lightly soft it's gonna make your skin smell lightly scented so it's not something that I would purchase just because I wanted something very moisturizing but if I were looking for something just for a nice light scent on my skin I think it's great the next thing is the Hey Honey Good Morning Honey Silk um, Facial Serum. So this is for an all day nourishing. This is really good, guys. 
I tried this out many times this week because I was like, gosh, I may end up purchasing this. This is something that I need to add to my wish list because I really do enjoy this. I put this on at nighttime and in the morning because it says, hey, mon hey, honey, good morning. I used it at nighttime as well because it's a serum and serum is good for your skin pretty much any time in my opinion. So it says to apply it daily by itself or under your day, <clears throat> day or night cream. So even though it says good morning, you can use it at nighttime. Don't pay attention to that part. It's a really good serum because it definitely helped to moisturize my skin and leave it feeling soft and hydrated. So really did enjoy this. I like the consistency. It comes out kind of yellow, so it's not like a um, like serum where it, typically the serums are clear. It has a yellow tint to it, so it you, helps you kind of apply it better because in my opinion, when they're clear, I'm like, did I get it everywhere? When it's got that yellow little bit of a tint to it, you can definitely tell that you're getting it all over your skin like you're supposed to. So I enjoy this. The next thing is the Bosha. This is the Charcoal Deep Pore Exfoliating Peel Gel. This is really good too. I love Bosha skincare. Do you guys ever try a lot of things from a certain brand and you're like, man, I need to get more? That's me with Bosha right now. I feel like that most of the things I've tried recently from Bosha I have really enjoyed and this is a really good skin peel. For me, it's not really a peel. I think you put it on and it just kind of like makes your skin exfoliated a little bit. It's not something that's going to make your skin feel irritated or anything. I think it has a pleasant scent in my opinion. It's not bad at all. I think that if you were looking for something that's going to help your skin with like uh, kind of like turnover, this is something that I would definitely check out. The next thing is something that I'm like not so impressed by. This is a sample I got from the So Schwa, the box sub subscription box service that they used to have. This is called the YSL Souffle de Eclat Finishing Veil. It's okay. It's not like, for me, I found it to be very comparable to like any other face powder I've ever tried. It didn't surprise me. It didn't shock me. It didn't make my skin look better. And it didn't really impress me enough to where I would spend the money, amount of money that YSL charges for this powder. So for me, I think it's, it's not worth it. The next thing is the, um, who is this by? Smashbox. This is the Smashbox Super Fan Fanned Out Mascara. This is really good, but it made my eyelashes like kind of clumpy, like they clump together, even though the wand you would think would not make them clump, but it made my lashes kind of clump together. And I don't know if it's because it's a pretty wet formula or what, but I found that when I used this, my lashes were kind of like piecing together. So I had to go in with a little brush and help to brush them out a little bit because I don't like the when they're all clumped together and it looks like you have only two or three lashes. So for me, I think it's a good mascara, but I don't know if it's because it's so wet that it really makes everything just kind of go together. So for me, I'm not sure I would purchase it just because I like a more drier mascara. I don't know if maybe if I left this open for a little bit, it might like it better. So I might try that just or pump it because when you pump your mascaras like this, that puts some air in it and I think that might help it as well to dry it out a little bit. So I might try that and then maybe report back with you guys later after it maybe dries down some because for me, if you like a wet formula, you might like lo you might love it. The next thing is the Origins Anti-Aging Power Serum. Another skincare brand that I want to try more from. I love the Origin skincare line. This is another serum that I feel like was really, really good. This one has more of a almost like a khaki color tint to it. When you put it on, it looks almost khaki on your skin. It's very soft and silky. I was gonna show you guys what it looked like and then I put it on my hand and then rubbed it in. Good grief, I'm so smart. Okay, so here's what it looks like. I don't know what the heck I just did that for. So here's what it looks like. You can tell it's almost like a khaki shade. It's not, it's I guess more of a green shade, you could say. I guess that's because it's more of like a plant scriptions is what they call it. So this is a uh, serum that is really really good for as well hide, hiding holding in your moisture so serums are very vital for moisturizing your skin I know a lot of people think that moisturizer alone will help your skin but if you use a moisturizer in combination with a serum you're gonna notice a dramatic difference with your skin your skin is going to really hold all that moisture in and help to hydrate your skin that's already needing that extra part extra thirst extra oh my gosh guys that extra moisture so it won't be so parched i can speak i promise <laughs> the next thing are the two perfumes so i have two perfumes here we have the Erin mediterranean honeysuckle i have this on my wish list already i love this perfume it smells absolutely amazing it's very expensive i think it's like a hundred and some dollars but oh my gosh guys it smells so sweet and very girly and it's got like notes of definitely you can smell a little bit of honeysuckle to it 
but for me mostly what I smell to it is orange and I don't know why but I smell a lot of orange to it it just smells so absolutely fantastic I want to purchase the full size in this the next thing is the tropical wish and this is like one of those body fantasy things that you can get at uh, Walmart so this smells really really good but I did notice with the lasting power the air and of course isn't perfume this body mist right here this body spray that you put on barely lasts an hour honestly i put it on and i'm like did i even put it on so this smells really good but it's one of those things that you'd have to carry with you like in your purse or something like that to kind of refresh throughout the day which is good sometimes because i know for me i like to just kind of spritz and fresh especially if i'm going and doing different errands and things throughout the day then i like to put a little bit of extra perfume on and not smell overpowering and something like this would be great for that so that you don't smell like you doused yourself in perfume or anything like that so like this but i think like i said i think it's something that you'd want to carry with you okay so let's try not to have any baskets fall this week because last week's fiasco was pretty hilarious so now let's go and pull our new samples the first samples we're going to pull are the perfume samples so i have the perfume basket right here or perfume bucket the first one i have is um aqua de parma this is the peony neoli <laughs> i have no idea it'll be in the description box below for you guys because i am sure i just completely butchered that and it's so tiny i'm not sure you could be able to see that if i try to show it to you guys it's just something that i can't pronounce so hopefully i didn't butcher it too bad the next one is the viva la juicy glace Ooh, this one i think is a newer one they've come out with so i'm excited about trying that out because i love viva la juicy i have quite a few viva la juicy perfumes because they're one of my favorites now we're moving on to the body care basket. So the body care basket's here, so we're gonna pull two out of here. The first one is, what do we have? We have the Cow Shed Lazy Cow Soothing Bath and Shower Gel in the scent Jasmine, Chamomile, and sam Sandalwood. Ooh, I love uh, chamomile, so hopefully I'll enjoy this one because chamomile is one of my favorite scents for like body care. The next thing in here is, this we have the Vita Liberata 10 minute tan it says rinse after 10 minutes this is perfect because you guys know I would like to get a little bit of a tan but I'm not interested in getting an actual sun tan I don't want to do that to my skin because I had a really bad scare with skin like the sun and everything so not interested in that so I'll have to try that out but you guys also know that I suck at self tanner but that one says to rinse it off in 10 minutes so it doesn't sound super scary so <laughs> Hopefully, I don't come back on here next week looking like an Oompa Loompa. So now we're moving on to the skincare basket. This is the big one, so I'm going to pull three out of this basket. The first one is, what do we have? We have the Clarins Moisture Surge. I've already tried this before. It's a really good one. I actually have it in full size, so I'm going to stick that in the basket that I use for giveaway. Then I have... The Real Chemistry Luminous 3-Minute Peel. This is another product that I've already tried. It's a really cool product. It definitely removes layers of like dead skin and things like that. I used to not think that it actually worked, but I think it actually does. Because I tried it one time on like just the sink because people were like, nah, you can use this and it'll work on a balloon. And I put it just on our marble countertop and nothing came up. So I don't think that it's true that it's just within the gel. I think it actually does remove some, some dead skin cells. The next thing is the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. This is the Synchronized Recovery Complex 2. Now, this is something that I haven't tried, so I'm interested in trying this one out, so we'll have to see how good this one is. So I'll set this over here. And then we have the Algenus, the Ultimate Melting Cleanser. Ooh, I love melting cleansers. This says it has allogaronic acid and microalgae oil. I'm excited about trying that. You guys know I love cleansing oils and things like that, so I'm excited to see how good this is. Then we have, what is this? This is the Dermalogica Stress Positive Eye Lift. Ooh, anything to help with my eyelids because you guys know I am getting ready to celebrate my 40th birthday this week, so anything to help with kind of anti-aging will be helpful for me. Now, oh, dropping stuff. Now we're moving on to the hair care basket, so I'm going to pull two out of here. So the first one is, what do we have here? We have the Cara Color Color Plus Conditioner. It's not conditioner, they call it conditioner. That's too cute. It's supposed to cleanse and condition deposit color pigments. What? Is it going to deposit color pigments? 
What? I don't know. This is scary. Platinum. Cleanse and condition deposit color pigments brightens dull blondes. Oh my gosh, guys. Hopefully I don't come back on here with orange hair again. Good grief. I'm a little bit scared of that one. <laughs> okay. The next thing in here, my basket, this one's way too full, guys. The next thing is an Alterna product. This is the Alterna Hair Care Color Rejuvenation. So I guess if I mess up my hair too bad with that product, then we can rejuvenate it with the Alterna product. So yay. <laughs> Pray for me. Pray for me this week because that sounds like I'm going to be having a rough week with hair stuff. So this is a little scary. That one actually deposits color. That's interesting. I'm dropping everything. Now we're on to the makeup basket. So we have that one here. The first thing in here I'm pulling out. Oh, actually, I can't pull anything out. Everything's all wanting to come out at one time. Okay, so we have a Clarins, the Insta Li Instant Light Natural Lip Perfector. Ooh, now that's a really pretty color too. So I'm excited about trying that out. That looks like a perfect spring shade. So I'm excited about trying that to see how good it is. Then we have, I can get down in here. Oh my goodness gracious, guys. We need to get bigger baskets or something less samples. That's probably the better suggestion. Now we have the Kat Von D, the Studded Kiss Meet the New and Improved Studded Kiss Cream Lipsticks. So here's a bunch of different cream lipsticks from Kat Von D. Maybe I'll do a little lipstick try on with you guys for this one so you can see what they look like. I'll try to because we're going to be out of town a little bit this coming week. So I'll try to do that if I can get that done. If not, then maybe I'll just insert some pictures or something like that of it next week. So that is all the samples I'm going to be playing with this week. So we're going to move on to our winner from last week. So I need to grab my phone here and find our winner. We're going to pick together this week. So we're going to go into the sample Sunday and we're going to look at all the comments and we're going to hang on. What I like to do is do it like this. <laughs> this is probably not the best way to do it, but this is how I do it. I just take my phone and I scroll, 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 and then one more time and down. Here we go. So the winner is Karen Rambach. Rambach? I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Right, But Karen Rambach, if you could send me an email and I will <clears throat> send me an email with your mailing address. I will mail you out your goodie bag. And your goodie bag is this one here from last week. This is the Cover FX bag. So it's got lots of different products in here for you to try out. So just send me an email and I will, give, I will send this right over to you. Let me talk to you guys real quick too about one thing let me hang on one second so I have two bags here for some reason I was not able to mail them out because I haven't got the mailing addresses so I still need to hear from tatted Tiffany tatted tatted makeup Tiffany or some tatted tattoo I don't remember but it's tatted Tiffany something tatted Tiffany makeup or something you have a little goodie bag still waiting for you so I'm waiting for an email still from you and then also Susan Reedy. Susan, I need an email from you as well letting me know your mailing address. So if I could get your mailing address in as well as Tiffany's and now Karen Rombach, if I could get all of your mailing addresses, I will send your goodie bags out for you guys. I'm still waiting on these two to send out because I don't want to just like sit them there and forget about them. And I don't know if maybe you guys just didn't hear that you won from the those goodie bags, but do need your mailing address to mail them out to you. So this week, what we're going to do... <clears throat> I will tell you guys I have a little bit of a surprise since it's my birthday week. So I'm going to be doing a couple little giveaways this week. Hopefully I can get them up for you guys. If not, then they will come up after my birthday week. But the first thing I'm doing is in the sample Sunday. So for the sample Sunday, I'm going to add a couple extra like fuller size products to the goodie bag. So and it will be two goodie bags this week. So we have a blue one and a pink one. So these are the goodie bags for this week and we're going to fill them up together. So the blue one, <clears throat> first of all, is going to start out with these fuller size products. So we have the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray. So this is one of the things that's going into the blue goodie bag. Then we have the uh, Benefit Roller Lash. So this is not a fuller size, but it's, it's a deluxe size. And then we have the Becca. This is the Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal. So we have a little liquid skin perfector in Opal. And then you also get the Smashbox Studio Swag Set and Slay little set. So you get this little set here. So those are the four fuller size products that are going to go inside of here. <clears throat> and then in the pink one, I'm losing my voice, guys. In the pink one here, we're going to put the e.l.f. This is the e.l.f. Illuminating Mist and Set. I'm trying to make these kind of comparable, so hopefully I did an okay job. 
Then we have the Juice Beauty Phyto Pigments uh, Luminous Lip Crayon in the shade Malibu. So here's a little lip product. Then you also get the Sephora Vu <laughs> Rouge Volup uh, Lip Cream Set. So you get these little lip creams from Sephora. And then you also get the Benefit, the Bad Gal Bang Mascara. So there's all the little products that are going to go in this goodie bag along with the samples that we pull. So I'm going to pull also, oh my gosh, I can't keep the bag won't sit up. Stay. So I'm also going to pull eight samples for each of you guys. That way there, since I do have some extras in here, I usually pull ten. We're going to pull eight for each. So we're just going to randomly pull. So the first one is the Becca Backlight Priming Perfect priming filter so that one's going to go into the pink bag so we're pulling for the pink bag first by the way that's one two black opium perfume then we have three three is the jimmy choo leu perfume so here's this perfume that's going into the pink bag four is we have the anastasia lip gloss in the shade saint tropez saint tropez and then five, we have the Skin & Co. Facial Oil. Six is, we have the Diva Curl Melt Into Moisture Matcha Butter Cleansing Mask. So you get this little cleansing mask. Seven, <laughs> trying to reach around in here and grab some good things for you guys. We have the Tarte Double Duty Beauty. Um, this is the Shape Tape little sample. And one more. The last sample for this bag is the CeraVe Facial Moisturizing Lotion. So this is the pink goodie bag. So the pink one is completed. So that is everything that's going to be given away in that bag. Then we're going to go ahead and fill up the blue bag now. Oops. The bags are slippery. So we're going to fill up the blue goodie bag now. So the blue one is going to get eight samples as well. So the first sample is the Way Treatment treatment Mask for your hair. The Clinique Take the Day Off Makeup Remover. There's two. We're on number three. We have a Too Faced Glitter Glue. There's three. We have... A Ralph Lauren Woman Perfume for or number five. We have the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye in the shade Medium. Number six. We have a Stila, the Stay All Day uh, Lipstick in the shade Patina. Seven. Oh, <laughs> the perfume fell out, so we'll have to... They down here again. That one's like missing the sample. We have the Versace Bright Crystal. So here's number seven. And one more for this bag. And the last thing in here is going to be this. This is the Tory Burch Love Relentlessly, Love Relentlessly Perfume. So there are all the goodies that are in the blue goodie bag. So in order to win this, all you have to do is leave me a... Oh my gosh, I dropped... I thought I dropped the goodie bags. I'm like, no... Uh, but all you have to do is leave me a comment letting me know what are your favorite things that you're working with right now. That's all I really need. Or maybe you could leave me your favorite emoji. Something simple. You just leave me a comment below. Get you entered for the good, give, goodie giveaway. So next week, like I said, I will be announcing two winners. Hopefully, I will be able to come on here next week because we may be out of town. So it may be a late sample Sunday coming up because I'm not exactly sure when we're coming back into town because my husband's taking me out of town for my birthday. So it's a little bit of a surprise how we're going out of town. So um, if I do not get it up next Sunday for you guys, just look for it sometime maybe during the week or something. Or maybe I'll just do like a live stream, whatever I can do to get it up for you guys. So anyway, I'd love to hear your thoughts, your opinions on the things that you've seen today and also on anything that you are trying out that you think maybe I should try or maybe your favorite sample. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Mm -hmm.